Kia good evening. An Auckland helicopter pilot is tonight back at home and remarkably unhurt after a terrifying crash on Auckland's waterfront. The helicopter was being used to assemble a giant Christmas tree, something TVNZ was live streaming on our website when the drama happened. Let's go live now to Amy Kelly. Amy. Peter, looking at the wreckage of this helicopter, it's hard to believe that the pilot was pulled from it virtually unscathed. Now, he was hired to hoist up the tall black ladder-like structure you can see here, which is going to form the inside of what's known as the telecom Christmas tree. We understand he had finished doing that. He was making his way back down, releasing his winching cable when he plummeted to the ground. A few seconds is all it takes for this start to the Christmas season to go gut-wrenchingly wrong. It seemed as though its uh, rotors clipped the, the posts that are just put up and then the, the helicopter came crashing down to the ground. As it does, the pilot's thrown like a rag doll halfway out of the helicopter. Unbelievably, it misses half a dozen people standing below and the pilot's cockpit lands bottom up. He hobbles away virtually unscathed. He's very lucky. He was, he was already halfway down. If he was really high, it could have been really messy. But some would say this is messy enough. The chopper's snapped in half. One of its three blades has been sliced clean off. Now the CAA is moving in to find out exactly what went wrong. In terms of safety, there's certain processes and procedures that need to be adhered to, and we'll be looking at whether or not this operation actually adhered to those processes. Safety investigators will closely analyse this footage and question eyewitnesses who told One News it appeared the pilot didn't have much room for error. It just looked really sketchy, just didn't seem right with all the cables around. Oh, you didn't have to have much sense around you to think he's working in such a small position. And to me, it wasn't a small, a small chopper, it was a full-size, big helicopter. Parts of it were flung as far as the Viaduct Events Centre, a few hundred metres away, smashing bullet-like holes through windows. This man, working beneath the chopper, was treated for minor injuries, while firefighters sprayed foam around the wreckage. There's 20 litres of Jet A1 fuel on board, that's a precautionary measure. Just one more reminder, this accident could have been so much worse. So, Amy, the wreckage of the helicopter is obviously still there. What happens now? It is, Peter. The Civil Aviation Authority finished its scene examination at 4 o'clock today and it's now the responsibility of the helicopter company, Heliseeker, to remove that wreckage. That's what we understand the green crane uh, that you can see is now doing. That could take well into tonight, possibly even early tomorrow. And until then, Tawiro Bridge, to my right here, remains closed to the public. Amy Kelly, thank you.